So to make continuations explicit in our curly interpreter, then we need to be able to represent to-do lists or continuations that look like this. I'm going to write it in concrete syntax for now, uh, but this to-do entry says once you get a value here, then you're ready to add 3 to that value. And there's two pieces of information being recorded here, the fact that we're waiting for a value in the second place, and that we already have a value on the left-hand side. This is forcing the evaluation of the left-hand side before the right-hand side. So to represent uh, these kinds of to-do lists, we will have a new data type, continuation, or just cont for short. And to represent this kind of example, where there's a plus with a value, we will need a variant of continuation that is do plus k. So the k part at the end is short for continuation. And the plus part says that this is a plus expression, and the do is we're ready to actually do the plus as soon as we get a value for this dot. We will already have a value for the left, so that's why we have a v field that's a value uh, in the record. The dot doesn't show up in our variant because it's implicit. It's the value that we're waiting for. So as soon as we get that value, we can add it to this value. To represent this specific example as a do plus k, we would uh, create a do plus k record with a 3 value created with numv3. Let's look at another example. Here's plus where we're working on the left expression, so the right expression is not a value yet. So to represent these kinds of to-do entries, we're going to have not do plus k because that takes a value, but a plus second k. The plus second k records an expression. But remember, whenever we record an expression, we will need to record the environment for that expression as well. So that's why plus second k has two fields. So the meaning here again is that it's a continuation. You're working on a plus, but the next thing you should do is work on the second expression or the right expression of the plus. So now we have two different types uh, in our two different variants in our continuation. Uh, and plus second is how we represent uh, the continuation entry that says when you get a value for the left, start evaluating the right. So to represent this specific example, we will create a plus second k record where we record the right expression. Uh, and so it's an app e of f applied to zero, because that's what we have here is the expression f applied to zero uh, in the empty environment. How about if we had the longer to-do list? So this to-do list says we're working on the left expression. As soon as you get that, start working on the right expression, and then add them together. And after you add those together, then you have a value that you can add to 3. So in general, our to-do list will have multiple items on it. And we could represent this with a list of continuation records. But uh, instead of doing that, we're going to build the list structure into the continuation type. And we will uh, therefore add uh, just like a list has uh, a cons with a rest that is also a list, we will represent a list form of continuations as a continuation record that has a k, a rest of the continuation, um, as a continuation as an extra field in all of our variants. Now if we do that, if we also need an empty case, so uh, we'll call the empty case done k. That means if we want to represent this whole to-do list, we will create it as a plus second k, because that's the first thing on our list, where we have the expression f applied to 0 in the empty environment. And then the next thing on our list is this do plus k. So we have a do plus k with the number of value 3. And then that's the last thing in the list, so we chain to just done k. So you see how plus second k has a kind of rest continuation, do plus k has a kind of rest continuation, until we get to done k, which is like the empty continuation. 